see, I can't say it's going to be May because now it is May. And this is fan mail for May 2023. My name is Brian Bobby Bricks O'Brien O'Brien O'Bricks. Thank you for tuning into fan mail. Last month I said, hey, if you wanted this sticker pack, then leave a comment down below. Anna the human said, hey, I like the Avatar sticker. Do you want some gum? Uh, no, I don't need, well, I, I need gum, but I don't, I don't need the gum. So thank you for commenting, Anna. Go to my website and use the form down below to claim your sticker pack. So for May, there's a lot, so I'm gonna just get right into it. This month has Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm actually doing a giveaway of the game exclusively through my Twitch channel. So if you go to twitch.tv slash Bricks O'Brien, the more that you watch my live streams, the more of a chance you have to win a digital copy of the game. I'm doing that between now and May 26. And yes, obviously you can look forward to my playthrough that's happening right when the game comes out. So no worries about that there. I like when I do these lower third things down here to remind you about the giveaway and to send me in mail, whatever you want to send in. PO Box 1448 Wakefield, Massachusetts 01880. I open fan mail once a month, ideally on the first of the month, so I can show how much I appreciate you sending me mail to the PO Box. Oh, I'm sorry. I just just happened to have the paperback version of my book on the on the table so i got these in the other day showed them off to everybody and yeah it looks really cool it's the same book that you know and love but now it's very flexible the text is a little bit different up here and the inside is orange with a qr code and all the things that make it relevant for today so if you already have the hardcover version and you want the paperback version link to get them is obviously where you would where you'd find them and you can get them on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or wherever books are sold now. And speaking of that Pro Gamer's Guide thing, I'm going to show you something that isn't necessarily fan mail, but it's really cool. This is a 3D printed version of Cuddles a Penguin from Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits. I saw while browsing the internet, somebody made these incredible looking resin models, and I'm like, wow, I've been meaning to get like the characters from the book into this art style and make them 3d as like a like a vinyl almost like a vinyl figure it's actually made out of resin but it looks really cool like you would see in like a shop and whatnot so that's cuddles a penguin right there and uh, slam 3d print labs brought this to life it's like a little bit hollow but i i got them made so it's really really cool it's just one right now there's actually a little test print cuddles that uh, they made so it's really really cool it's about an eight inch figure right here this is not for sale or anything like that this is for me to have and i have the digital file obviously for other things in the future but i wanted to show this off it looks really cool so this is what cuddles the penguin would look like if they were real and in 3d space so hopefully we can see the other characters featured in the book uh, sooner rather than later. The love for Pro Gamers Guide doesn't stop here either. So somebody in my community who goes by the name of Kristen said, Hey, Brian, uh, I want to do something for you for your five year anniversary celebration you're having in July, July 22nd, 2023 specifically. So you can kind of see back here, she does all these crochet creations. So there's Cecilia, there's Cuddles and there's Polly. So she makes those all the time. And she said, well, I have something for you, Brian. There's a crochet, Polly the parrot, this little itty bitty version. This is actually something that she made after making me the large one. And this is gonna be given away on my five year anniversary live stream in July, celebrating five years as Bricks O'Brien. But there's not just Polly, there's also Cecilia the cat in all of her glory as well. So they're all kind of appropriately scaled to size these are really snazzy again these are available for free as giveaway items you can't buy these you can't pay for these but you know there's there's these two and there's also cuddles the penguin so it's the whole trifecta there's no brian but there's Polly, cecilia and cuddles all these are available for you to get as a giveaway item on my five-year anniversary stream but there's actually not just that there's not just one not just two not just three but there's four of each available <laughs> to have as giveaway items for the five year anniversary. So she made four of each of the pet pal characters. I don't, I don't know where the other Cecilia is, but there's four of each. So you could win one of these just by tuning into my five year anniversary. Kristen hand crocheted all of these. So a massive thank you to her for being so kind and generous with her time. I wanted to include this in fan mail as well. This is something I, I bought off of a friend's shop because they wanted to fund a vacation. And I'm like, well, this is an item I can give away on the five year anniversary as well. It's a custom 
made SpongeBob SquarePants bag. Look how cool is that? These are like him. Like she made this and I saw it. and I'm like, oh, somebody would probably appreciate this to put whatever they want to in it. So obviously I wanted to support a friend and it's SpongeBob. So so why not? She wrote a little note here. This is from Emily. Thank you so much. This purchase helps me reach my goal. See, that's what you do when you see somebody having a goal, uh, ambitions and a small, small little business there to support. You want to make sure you, you represent and have them be uh, be part of it. So nice job, Emily, for making this and uh, happy to give this away at the five year anniversary. And speaking of people doing their thing, we got another Kevin Hinkle sticker delivery. And this one features a Frankenstein. We have some anime and we have Bendy. So these three stickers are what Kevin sends me every single month. So if you want a chance to win this sticker pack for your collection, I don't know what anime that is right there. So if you know what these three are, let me know which one's your favorite down in the comments below. And I'm going to pick one person to win these stickers from anywhere in the world. Free free shipping to send them out. So yeah, let me know which one you like. I did a Mario movie and Mario Kart event in Rhode Island when the movie first came out. And JJ sent me this, or rather he ran up to me and handed it to me. They got pizza at a local pizza place and then drew this on the back of the placemat and gave it to me because he won the Mario Kart tournament and saw the movie and saw me. So wanted to shout out J uh, JJ's drawing here, Mario or Brixo against Bowser. Very cool. This is from Lori. Lori sent me more peeps. What is with you people and peeping me, dude? Why is there more? Easter's over. Get over yourselves, people. Mamma mia, from Lori. This says, Brian, thank you for being you. And doing what you love so well, I uh, love being, I heard you love being peeped, even thought of it is hate. Oh, it's late. Okay. So enjoy your late peeping, knowing you love it and watching you. And that's the Uwu Brian on the bottom there. See, I thought I was done with peeps for the season. You know, Easter is over. The Easter bunny went back into hibernation into his, into his hidey hole. And I thought, I thought we were over this, but I guess we're not. Uh, birthday cake peeps. These are actually not that bad. All peeps are bad, but like these aren't half bad. Um, there's a pancake skillet set. So so what Lori did was she she got the other things that the Douglas family didn't get. So she like overcompensated. Okay. So there's the peeps pop. Uh, this one I think I've had before. That's great. There's a chicken. Okay. Oh, it's a it's a skillet. It's the top of the skillet I seen. Ah, this is actually kind of cool. A little, not cast iron skillet, but you know, feel like I should be bashed over the head with this thing, like Wiley Coyote, be like a whole thing. Don't, don't, pro gamer tip, don't do that. Uh, there's a Peep Pop, which is another one, same as before, different. Oh, Mike and Ike flavored. That doesn't sound, it kind of sounds horrific. There's also this. So this one I've actually already been given by uh, a buddy of mine, Sapiens, at PAX East 2022. So now I have two of them. Thanks. And then there's a chicken. It's a big, giant chicken. Okay. Uh, Lori. Oh, there's a foot. <laughs> <laughs> why is there a foot? Why? Why? <laughs> oh, I don't like fan mail anymore. I don't like. I don't like. When I said send me anything, I didn't say send me feet pics. All right, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a footsie guy. All right, so I got a big giant chicken and feet. Happy May, everybody! Thanks, thanks, Lori. Love you too. So you know, here's the thing: people have sent me wonderful things off my Amazon wish list, like an air fryer from the Doucette family, the Keurig machine from Brie. Like those things, I was more so expecting than a giant chicken with feet. It's very bizarre. 
It's all a very bizarre concept here. Okay, so we have some fan mail. This is from someone. I love your videos. Can you send me a beanie? Can I send you a beanie? I'm not wearing, I'm not giving you my worn beanie. That That's a premium and not available right now. I'm your biggest fan. I would love if you play Minecraft with me. Love your book, Pro Gamer's Guide to Healthy Habits. Hey, hey that one right there, man. Thanks, man. Uh, can you sign my Nintendo Switch cover? Oh, and there's some uh, uh, things on the back here. Meow it out from Bricks O'Brien. And you know what? Mom or dad put a translation. It's from Blakely, eight years old. Envelope is stamped so you can be kind to sign her game cover. Absolutely, Blakely. I can do that. And I appreciate the translation from the parent. We have Dragons Dawn New Riders. I've never heard of this game, but I'll sign it because you included return postage, which is great. Thank you for including the, the, the postage. I'll send this out. Love the cat drawing. Love the translation and the pictures. Awesome work, Blakely. Thank you. Haley says that she's my biggest fan. Been following me since 2017 or 18. I love that game. I watched you talk about it. Oh, uh, Astroneer. I know I got to play Astroneer, man. It's on the list. It's on the infinitely growing list after, uh, after Tears of the Kingdom. It's hopefully going to happen. Uh, P.S. I got the programmer's guide to healthy habits signed too. Nice. Thank you so much. Then there's some alien drawings. Ah, uh, sneak one, two, why, one? Because three is going to kill you too. Uh-oh. With the warden and every every other character here. Yeah, Astroneer is on the docket, Haley. Thank you for sending in the fan mail, and I'm glad you're enjoying programmer's guide to healthy habits. Patrick says, I've been uh, liking your channel a lot. Looking forward to Tears of the Kingdom. Wonderful. Could you make a playthrough of the new LEGO racing game? Well... Luckily for you, Patrick, I have exclusive access to that game and will be playing it in its entirety with sneak peek gameplay when it comes out the week after Tears of the Kingdom. That's why I've been doing a few less videos as of recently. Uh, peep videos are funny. Well, congratulations, Patrick. You also got peeped again. Uh, I am going to have a very busy two weeks, which is why I haven't been doing as many videos as I've wanted to. So if you're like, oh, where's Brian? Is he... Is he like like uh, showering in fudge? No, it's just because uh, I've been resting and, and tidying up around here because Tears of the Kingdom is going to come out. It's going to be a big deal along with that game. So I've been preparing myself for that. So thank you for, oh my goodness, what is, well, look at the, wow. All right, Team Mario or Team, look at these illustrations. They're beautiful. Dear Bricks O'Brien, thanks for all the awesome videos you made. Uh, I discovered your channel years ago because a good friend suggested them to me. Discovering Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Lego City, Star Wars. Yep. Uh, thanks for the positivity. Uh, good day, mate. From Australia, from Anne. Wow. This is all the way from the Australia. Din, 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 Will you ever make a playthrough of Halo 1, 2, and 3? Uh, I play Halo 3 ODST Firefight with my dad. Well, first of all, I love these. These are awesome. Feel free to, if, if you ever want to send in any more drawings or anything here in, feel free to do so. These are wonderful. I love these. Um, Halo, although one of my moderators, Anthony, would love for me to do that, uh, is not family friendly. So people have given me flack before when I've done, um, what was it, Spider-Man. Because it's, it has some weapons in there that are questionable. So, you know, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to continue that trend. So I like Halo, but I don't love Halo, and it's not family friendly. So uh, yeah, I, mean, I can't say I'm going to do it anytime soon, but that'd be that'd be cool. This one's from Clementine, uh, from from Clem, actually. I want the stickers. Well, not this time. Uh, I wrote in the I want like this, but I erased it. I watched all the Astros Playroom videos. Nice. Then it actually goes upside down. I've got a tundra ice. Oh, it's a it's a pun. Ah, uh, the picture on the back is of you playing and doing yoga, but playing Fortnite while doing it. So I guess I'm playing yoga. I'm playing Fortnite and doing yoga, which I don't think those two things actually went together. Uh, my mom does taxes and she can do yours. You know what? I actually am going to pay my taxes today. They're a little late. Don't tell the IRS, but you know, actually they already know. Thank you, Clementine, for sending this and along with the wonderful uh, pun that you included. Did I receive a second sticker pack from Kevin? Why did I receive a second one? Is this from like months ago? It might be. Oh, we got Brock, Mewtwo, and Charizard. So you know what? If I get 25 comments on this video, I'll give away the second 
sticker pack to somebody else to share the love. So there's two chances for sticker packs. Just leave a comment which of your favorite stickers are here, and I'll pick two people. This one's from Bennett. He's congratulating me on 15,000 subscribers. And to keep up the good work, I certainly will. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. Your boy's trying to hit 100,000 sometime in his lifetime. So share the channel with a friend, share the videos, and send in fan mail, just like Bennett did here. Thank you very much. Seth sent me this. I have enjoyed your videos and love your commitment to the community. Uh, I have your video forever, so let me take a look into your soul. Why in the whole world? Have you not play, played Fortnite since 1985? Uh, is this question dumb? Have you quit that old LEGO Star Wars game and when did you start YouTube? Uh, I don't play Fortnite because it's very repetitive, competitive, and it doesn't interest me as much as other games do. No question, it's a stupid question unless you say it's a stupid question. I quit that LEGO Star Wars game because I got sick of it and people weren't watching it as much as they were in the very beginning. And I started YouTube in 2009 in my very first channel, but obviously changed names a lot since then. I've been Bricks O'Brien since July 22nd, 2018. And then, oh, there's more. Uh, please tell Hot Pocket to collab with Peeps to make a new flavor. No. Did you know Oreo is a ripoff? Yes, the original form of Oreo was Hydrox. Uh, should a should anyone and everyone who is watching subscribe? Yes. You just got to make that t-shirt of the turtle from the last fan mail. Uh, probably not. Used to like the idea of the Mario movie, but then I realized Luigi's role is replaced by Donkey Kong. Whoops. Are you a hypocrite for telling people to sleep when you don't? Yes. What did you sing that I wanted you to sign from Seth? I don't know. Okay, so Seth also wanted me to read this on camera. Don't open until filming. It says... So that's fan mail for May uh, 2023, everybody. Um, send in mail. The mail pile is uh, getting thin because I'm going through all of it so quickly. I'm keeping my promise of, like, the first I'm uploading a new fan mail. And also get your paperback version of the book. Also tune into my live streams on Twitch. Also do the five-year anniversary. All, all the things. All the things all the time. Leave a comment for the sticker packs, okay? Because I, I want to give these to people because they're really cool. Uh, thank you for tuning into Fan Mail for May. For the love of everything, stop peeping me, okay? Don't do it. Don't do 